I have not made a video in a while just talking or ranting. But I just had to come and cut this camera on uh, before I head into the store. This quarantine and working from home and schooling from home. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of put you on a whole nother level. It, uh, I don't want to cuss and be rude or ratchet, but um, shit done got real. <laughs> it done got real, real. This is like the only place I can kind of find some peace and quiet. Um, in the car <laughs> because they're everywhere <laughs> no matter what room you go in whatever you're doing you know somebody needs something or want to talk or you know it's just in the way so my peace and quiet is in the car um, but yeah in case they out here too long and then you know everybody migrates outside whatever and then you can't be gone too long but I'm about to head to the dollar store um, and get some stuff to cook for but my thing is, and my question to the, my people who uh, who be tuned in with me and keeping up with what's going on is, what's going on in your house? You know, because some of us are not able to, like, go out into the working field like the normal nine-to-fivers. And we kind of living at home. Like, I be at home all the time, which is, I love it. Um, I already was a homebody, but I was always on the go. So now, like, my on the go is just, you know, running to the store or running to do something or running to see a family member or something. Um, so I get a lot of stuff done at home. I love it. But currently in my house, I'm going to tell y'all what's going on. I got gnats, fruit flies, trying to be healthy ever since I tried this. I'm going to change my life. Got to do better. Coronavirus out here. Got to make sure we keep more fruits and more, you know, fresh stuff available. The damn fruit flies. <laughs> they came. Okay. Kind of got them down for a while. Damn refrigerator went out. Okay. This went on for about two weeks. And I really think they had a lot to do with letting the fruit fries or gnats, whatever you want to call them, just kind of migrate somewhere. I mean, uh, uh, go somewhere and reproduce. It seemed like they reproduce by the thousands. <laughs> I don't know. But every time I turn around, it's one flying around in this house. I done tried the apple cider and the dish detergent soap. I done tried Ray. I don't know what to do next. Yesterday, I went on a little cleaning spree. Like trying to just clean behind the refrigerator, clean like all the way out, just clean as much as I can clean the stove. Like, I gotta do better too, because that was like a month worth of work. And if I do it once a month or something, like pull the fridge out and clean out the stove, then it might not be so bad. So, that's another tip to all my um, moms and single parents or caretakers, whoever. Try to do them dirty things, the baseboards, the stupid stuff like that once a month. Unless you got, um, you can hire, you know, a professional service, a cleaning service, a maid service or whatever. That's what I want. You best believe as soon as things get back leveled out, I'm hiring somebody. Please come here and do this for me. Because I have so many other things that I would like to be doing. But yeah, so we're dealing with the gnats. Just got the refrigerator fixed. Me and Skylar trying to get on a schedule uh, to make it as realistic uh, as possible in the school setting. Because I don't want her to go back to school and still have no, uh, I ain't going to say she got no clue of how to be in the, in the classroom setting. Because at her daycare, they had a classroom setting. But it's been a while. I took her out of daycare and she won't go back, she won't go start pre-K, you know, God knows when. Um, but I don't want to be so lost and not able to sit down and take a lesson and listen to a lesson because they be all over the place. Pew, 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 with stuff to do. But she doing a lot of YouTube. Um, all she want to watch is Chad and Clay. If you guys know, ever heard of that. Sharers. Share the love. Oh, my God. And if I hear Megan the Stallion song one more time on TikTok, I love Megan to death. I love her. I'm a big fan of hers. Love her. Good spirit. But I'm so tired of her and Beyonce. <laughs> and they damn six out there because Skylar listened to it. I swear to God. I swear to God. Like eight times. She'll do it back to that. She done got better and better with the little dance routine they got. Like, I done even learned it. But I'm just saying. And Kendrick, he just still sports. He really either on his game or um, scrolling Instagram. I have to, like, remind him, hey, got to do some other stuff. So, I don't really worry about him besides just going back and forth to the fridge, drinking up all the milk and all the cereal. 
but he been gone he just came back uh today been at his friend's house so that was pretty cool but other than that y'all did he ended up sore that's another thing too this is hilarious he's gonna start varsity football this time when they go back to school bumping up from rec league and um the travel sports stuff which was real big in his life uh, so they'll be doing varsity football so he's been working out getting started with it and it's so hilarious just to hear him say some of the stuff he's been saying because he always so gung-ho uh he want to play all the sports in the world all year round he don't care what he got to do with how many practices we got to pick him up and take him to like that never bothered him he was gung-ho let's go now it was so funny he gets in the car after one practice it might have been the first practice or the second practice this week mom i ain't playing basketball <laughs> <laughs> they gonna have to do it without me I ain't gonna be able to do it That was so funny to hear him say that Cause he finally gets it Like your body ain't gonna be able to take all that dude You want another level So But so getting him to uh, practice and stuff We started that this week He's doing Skylar School um, Like on a regular consistent basis uh, In a more classroom setting type Atmosphere That's been going good this week um, and with me, I've been just working on my business, just fine-tuning it because I still feel like um, my business plan was not um, as thorough as it needed to be. So I've been focusing on that these last couple of days, um, finishing up my home inspector's licenses so I could take my test and we'll be able to do audits uh, under my licenses. And then talk to the guy about blockchain development because I'm so lost when it comes to like the real understanding of blockchain and behind the scenes just from the little bit i've learned about bitcoin and stuff but i know that it's coming in our near future and i refuse to be left behind and being forced to use bitcoin instead of you know introducing it to people or you know just using it so um been talked to him today probably gonna go ahead and take the assessment to see if i can start their school in the near future um what else we got going on in the house the oils are doing well i am i finally got them down to four fragrances that i'm gonna stick with and the other ones are on sale just got to get rid of them discontinued i'm not gonna do those four um the t-shirts we voted a couple of days ago so um now it's really time to turn up for november so now we got a lot of time to get the marketing and stuff out and um, get people in our gear um, the website, oh my god, like I got an order from sunglasses, sunglasses. This is big to me because all the orders that I've had on my website have kind of been from me introducing the site to people or, you know, like me personally ordering the stuff. For people. So I finally got my first official, I don't know who the world this person is, you know, somewhere in California, they ordered some sunglasses from me. So, um, trying to figure out how to get that order processed to them because the dang sunglasses were out of stock. So... I reached out to the company, but then they said they're not out of stock. So, you know, just trying to figure out how to get those sunglasses to the customer that's been going on this week, too. Um, Uncle Rico about to get out. I talked to the parole board, um, called on his behalf. Um, so, me and him talked the other day. It's looking really good for him. He's about to get out. And last night, it was really interesting. I watched Trump in a panel of African-American people. Some of our good people. They were all Republican, but very smart people. Um... And they were his supporters, which I don't have a problem with. And they were talking some good stuff. It did let me know, and I want to give this message out to my people. Um, and when I say my people, I am talking about black people. But I'm talking about my people who fool with me, personally. You could be white, black, Asian, green, black. I don't give two dollars. But um, but I just want to tell people, if you don't have a business, or if you inspire to have a business one day soon, please go ahead and get your LLC. Get registered and start learning. Get your business plan ready. Um start learning all the stuff that you need to know and set stuff in place so when you do get some funds available you can just move forward with your plan um there's gonna be a change i really feel like there's gonna be a change for the african-american communities they're going to start trying to dump money into these places where we can do better where we can get educated and you know grow economically how we are meant to do and we thrive what they call it uh, they call it the black way up in the internet world we thrive in our world even if it's hustling selling drugs doing hair babysitting you know what i'm saying like whatever the candy lady 
we bought the entrepreneur life. We do. But we are also trained and kind of brought up to do the nine to five thing and not have multiple streams of income besides, you know, working our butt off and then do a little, little something at home. But I do think there's a shift coming to where we'll be able to get more education and get more comfortable with it being the norm of having multiple places where your money comes from and not caring about Louis, Gucci and, you know, all the high price dollar items that really don't do you no damn good (laughs) you know what i'm saying but we got to spend money on stuff we got to um this would make the world go around so when i design my stuff i would want somebody to care about enough about it to spend their money on it so i get gucci i get louis but we just cherish it a little bit too much i'm making a video (laughs) there's skylar (laughs) yeah you want to say anything yeah so it's me, Sadler here, and and me and me and my mom are going to the store to buy slime. <laughs> well, I'm going to the store. You're gonna stay at home, okay? I'm gonna bring you back some slime. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna go with her. <laughs> oh, guys. Well, yeah. Okay. The car is not even either. safe. I told you. <laughs> but it's all good, man. Um, now I'm gonna put my you guys, so I'll be back. Um, Cause y'all won't be able to hear me with all this extra company I got. So peace, guys. Check you out later. I um, remember, if you want to start a business, you're thinking about it, please go ahead and just at least register your LLC now. It's only a hundred dollars. Just go ahead and do it because one day soon. There, a, there is going to be a change to come where they're going to be helping us um, just so we can and reform guys, and rebuild and educate our communities and, and stuff guys, for these so, little ones like this. So when they grow up and get old, it won't be, and guys, you know, shit that's not a normal to, turn <laughs> to have cases. this. Hit that subscribe button and then you go see some new videos of me and Chad. <laughs> That's the V and Chad she been listening to on YouTube I was telling y'all about. So, yes, subscribe to our channel. Um, turn on your notifications. So, whenever we post a new video, you'll be first to hear what we got going on. And if you have kids, share. They are good kids. I like uh, their YouTube channel um, for kids. I don't have any problems with those guys. So, if your kids like share the love, support them. I support them. Peace out, guys.